What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Monday and we have got the Spanish League midfielders. Andres Iniesta, Kaka and Schneider. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this pack. And honestly, I think from a pure pack power point of view, I definitely think this is probably one of the best trio of packs, trio of players that they have released. Iniesta looks absolutely broken. Kaka looks super unique as well. And one of his weak points can definitely be overcompensated with. And we'll get into that in the build. Also, I mean, they're showing the ball roll here with Kaka in the trailer. I wanted to show you guys this. Kaka is going to be unstoppable, man. Uh, this, this is one of these players that can just do it all. And we'll get into that in a second with the card. But also Schneider, I think, could be the dark horse of this pack. A lot of people will probably overlook him for Kaka and Iniesta. But I definitely think that Schneider could potentially be actually the best player in this pack in terms of his levels. He goes huge with the levels. He's got really good player skills. He can shoot. He can pass. He can dribble. And I will be playing all of these guys as my attack and centre midfielder, or else I will be putting them into that kind of attack and midfielder role, that number 10 role where they're linking up the midfield. If you've got two behind you and you've got your two centre forwards in front of you, or if you've got three strikers up front or two out wide players, right? So we're going to go straight into it. I'm going to hide my face cam here because we're going to get into the builds in just a second. But these players, man, they definitely look the part. Now, I will say one thing, right? If you are spinning... This is probably going to be a difficult one to clear the pack because there's a lot of these cards in here like Tony Cruz. In my opinion, lads, this is probably one of the worst selections that you've got. But the three legends are definitely beastly, like 100% beastly. Really, really nice. If Even if you look at Iniesta here, we will be streaming later with a bit of gameplay. We might be spinning. Let's see. We might be spinning for you boys and testing things out. First things first with Andres Iniesta, I'm going to keep this build short and sweet because we will be going into a deep dive review on all of these cards, but I want to give you guys the best builds yet. Whole player Iniesta, definitely one to be excited about. All he's missing for ball roll is flip flap, which is the, you know, the special or the advanced double touch. He already has double touch and soul control. If you have a spare flip flap lying around or if you want to spin and try your luck at getting a flip flap, it is going to be beastly on Andres Iniesta. But even saying that, boys, Iniesta has one of the best double touches in the game. It's super fast. It's Messi-esque where he's able to get through the double touch very nice. And sometimes it's nice to have a player that doesn't have ball roll in your squad as well. If you've got a few that do, if you get what I mean, it's kind of a, an extra skill move because most people that do that at the top rank are used to defending against the ball roll. The rest of his passing skills are fantastic. Marseille turn, cut behind and turn. First time shot, one touch pass, true passing, weighted pass and outside curler. So he still has a couple of shooting stats and skills there as well. I would like low lofted on him. Uh, low lofted is definitely one of my favorite to use. And anything else that you want to throw on him will have the build for his cards. I would definitely put on, in my opinion, I would definitely put on either flip flap if you wanted to go that route. And if not, you could put on gamesmanship, you could put on low lofted, you could put on maybe a shooting one as well. Long range curler would be nice on him. But Iniesta pretty much has everything. One touch pass, first time shot is all you really need with this card. Technique plus two. That is going to give you the increase to his ball control, driven type possession and low pass. So this is the build we've actually gone for with Iniesta, boys. This is it, man. 10 into shooting, 4, 5, 12 and 10. Now, you might ask me, do I need 10 in finishing? You do not. If you do not plan on playing Iniesta as one of your main shooting options, usually when I'm playing... I would have my main shooting option as my two center forwards or else my one center forward. If I'm playing a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-1-3 or one of those variations where my out play players are wide and very wide with wingers, I would usually have my attacking midfielder as my second kind of option to score. And this is what that build would be for. If you've got a different style and you don't shoot a lot with your attacking midfielder, I would say that, you know, having this at maybe 85 and obviously all these builds are taken into consideration that you either have Alonso or Pep Guardiola for the boost, okay? I would leave that at six if you do not shoot a lot with Iniesta. And even at that, boys, I think this is probably a more balanced build because you don't need that finishing to be as high because it's very animation driven. I would probably pop it in a little bit more to maybe acceleration. That is kind of where I would go or else the dribbling, the dribbling could go up a little bit as well to get that maxed into the 90s with everything. You're going to have tight possession, insane, balance insane and also the acceleration that you have there. You could pop that up a little bit as well if you wanted to, um, just a fraction if you wanted to and still have the passing quite high. 
I feel like with the passing at the moment, yes, there is a kind of a way of getting around the issues with the passing, but I definitely feel this is a more creative build if you don't shoot a lot. I mean, you've got insane qualities here that are only going to rise with the manager boost and his booster in game as well. This is without all of those as we usually do, but that's the second build, 6, 5, 7, 13, 10. And as I said, with the skills, we already mentioned those, right? We're also going to take a look at Kaka, right? Kaka has 33 levels. This is the build that we've gone for with the Brazilian Magician. Fantastic card. Again, we're going to be a little bit lighter on the finishing here because I don't think that there's a point in putting in a lot of, into finishing if you're going to neglect the balance stat. I think this is the key with Kaka is because of his booster, as we will see here. This is his build, 3, 5, 9, 14, and 6. 14 is going to eat a lot of progression points, but you're going to get a player with 90 type possession, 90 ball control, 90 balance, and 90 plus acceleration, which is going to be the difference maker for this Kaka card, in my opinion, because if you look at the rest of his card here, he starts as an 84, he's 33 levels, his booster is going to be speed, acceleration, balance and stamina. So you want to get those type possession, dribbling and ball control stats up as high as you possibly can. If you get that type possession up to the 90 mark, as well as with the balance up to the 90 mark, the balance is going to get the booster. I definitely feel this is the card to go. He does have double touch, he doesn't have um, flip flap, he did have that as a move in the trailer. But I mean, listen, man, a lot of the cards that you see in this trailer now, like, I feel like that the, the trailers are just kind of showing different builds of different cards and stuff. And I wish they'd do that in the trailers, showing multiple different uh, builds. We'll get into that in another video. But this does, he does not have ball roll from the rip, right? So if you're looking at that trailer, he has double touch. You will have to give him soul control and flip flap, okay? Marseille turn, cut pine and turn, one touch pass, first time shot and true passing. He doesn't have weighted, he doesn't have low lofted and he doesn't have outside curler. They're three that I would 100% give to him. So you're talking outside curler, low loft, low lofted, weighted pass and then soul control and flip flap if you want to give him that ball roll and have everything at his disposal. It's a really nice card. It definitely is a really nice card. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel that that's something that you need to just be aware of. Wesley Schneider, lads, again, we're going to keep this video short and sweet. We'll be going into a lot more detail later. I want to just show you the best builds, as I said. He has soul control. He also has one touch pass, outside curler, low lofted, cut behind and turn, true passing, weighted pass, and, of course, acrobatic finishing and knuckle shot. A very, very good card with the booster here. And we're going to show you the finalized build now in just a second of what we've gone for. If you're using Wesley Schneider, lads, as a whole player, you 100% need to be, you know, you need to be shooting with him a little bit, but his passing is ridiculous. He's got every passing skill that you could possibly want. Once you give him, um, once you get a bit of time on the ball with him, I think that this guy is going to be beastly. I would play him as a, an attacking midfielder or as like a kind of, you know, a center midfielder that roams forward a little bit. Really nice kick and power balance, low pass, lofted pass, curl and tight possession. And of course, this is the build that we've actually ended up going for here as well, which is seven into shooting, five into passing. 8 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, and 10 into lower body. Nothing into defending or strength or anything like that, because these guys are flair players, finesse players. Really, really nice card. You've got massive, massive ability with the 36 levels. That's going to give you 70 progression points, which is the highest of all three players. Free kicks, curl, kick and power... Even his acceleration and balance and tight possession are absolutely insane. Now, we've neglected... Well, we've given 10 into lower body. That's going to give you 80 speed, around 81, 82 speed, uh, depending on how you train him up, give or take. But I think with this build here, boys, you've got an attacking beast that can do everything. I mean, he's similar to Kaka, but obviously he's going to have those smaller kind of animations and those tricks and animations because he's a smaller base player with his height. But, lads, honestly, I do think that this is a good pack. I mean, they've definitely saved the best till last with this pack but as i said let me know what you guys think honestly let me know what you guys think of these will you spin or will you skip because this iniesta and kaka card i mean i feel like i have to play with them let me know boys we'll be streaming later don't forget to subscribe and like the video i'll talk to you in a bit peace